I went to that particular aisle four times, even with the sports bra. Like, I was like, why would I buy sports bra for $20? Why would I buy workout pants for $20? That's how much. That's so busty, but it wouldn't make sense having to buy a sports bra that is not going to pack the thing very well you get. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl again, Yala Obijako, and today I am back with another video. This is going to be like a vlog slash, um, I don't know. If you're seeing my face for the first time and you're yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd love you to click that cute red button that says subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell so you don't miss any new video. <laughs> So you don't miss any new video whenever it comes live on my channel and if you're an og thank you for sticking with me to this present time you guys are the real mvps so let's get into today's video so guys we went grocery shopping for the month yesterday that was saturday the 16th of may and i'm just going to show you guys what i got and i'm going to be unboxing some things for you guys as well um, I'm just going to be showing what, <laughs> like things that pertain to me alone, not things that I bought for the entire house. So let's just unbox together. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is this yoga mat. Okay. So um, ever since I started working out, even when I did the Chloe thing, then I used to have like um, bruises on my elbow whenever I try to do plank. So um, what I do is that most times I put like a cloth or my towel on the rug and place my elbow on it when i'm trying to do planks but i've had to do that for a long time and i just thought that it was just a wise decision to get a yoga mat so i'm going to this is just going to help me reduce the elbow bruises i get whenever i do planks or any other form of exercise where i need to use my elbow or probably use my knee so yeah and i got the 5 mm thickness so I don't have like a knee problem, I don't have an elbow problem because they always, when I read up on Google, they said people who have knee problems and elbow problems should get like a 6mm thickness yoga mat and above. And this goes for I think $19.98. So this was about $20. I'm, was it $20? Yeah, I think this was about $20. The next thing I want to show you guys is this gorgeous mirror here. I'm sure you guys would have seen this mirror um, in one of my vlogs when I went to Canadian Tire. The, the vlog where I was, you know, doing looking for sewing machines to buy. And a lot of you were like, oh, why didn't you buy this mirror? Why didn't you buy this mirror? So this was gotten from the dollar store and the price is still there. It's $3.50. So it's $3.50. And it just makes things easier. I used to have one back home in Nigeria, but I couldn't come with it. I don't know if I gave it out or it's just still lying somewhere <laughs> in my mom's house. So it actually makes sense that when I'm doing makeup tutorials or when I'm just doing my makeup or doing anything, I need to use the mirror. I usually use the mirror from my eyeshadow palette and this actually makes sense. So the next thing I got was this um, sports bra. I didn't really come with, you know, sports bra, this... I really didn't come with sports bra, you know, coming from Nigeria when I moved. Um, I didn't really invest so much in sports bra when I was working out at home. But I just thought that, okay, it actually makes sense to invest in one. Because even if you don't have, you know, even if you're not so busty, it's very, very important that you invest in a sports bra at least. The kind of sell the kind of sell tape they used to tape this print like they don't want anybody to open it so i finally unboxed this so it comes it's like two in one and this is what it majorly looks like <laughs> it's actually a, a tad bit small but i i think i prefer it the cup is actually you know my cup but it's too small i really don't like my workout outfit extremely tight but i guess it's going to work i don't even have strength now to start thinking of going back to return it so i think it's a it's a puma seamless sports bra i like the fact that it's two in one i got this from costco and i'm just going to put this back so it's a tad bit small maybe i was looking for the medium i couldn't find and i felt the other size after medium was just going to be annoyingly big and it wouldn't make sense having to buy a sports bra that is big you know I... so the next thing i bought i bought like um 
ankle socks and this was from the dollar store it's two dollars fifty so the next thing i bought i bought like um ankle socks and this was from the dollar store it's two dollars fifty and i also bought like a an invisible socks i don't know what, what there's a name for this kind of socks anyways the ones that just you know um stops around your ankle gong 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 not this one but this particular one so that when i need to wear shoes i can you know comfortably wear them because it's no longer winter and most of the socks i have are pretty long socks and when i wear my sneakers with them they tend to show and it, it looks really tacky so i had to buy the both of them so probably this one i can be wearing it at home for now then this one is when i need to wear my sneakers and when i need to wear any of my shoes i'm going to wear this so this one was from costco i can't remember how much it was oh it was 9.99 so this is ten dollars and this is two dollars fifty from the dollar store i also had to buy blending wedges it didn't make sense buying from nigeria for me because he has a way of just puffing so it may just create you know it will just make my bag too full unnecessarily full so i had to buy from the dollar store so that i could you know easily set my under eye area without stress i have a beauty blender but the stress of washing it this is disposable so once i use i throw it away the next thing i got is this my cellar water and it's the love you for your face and eye my cellar cleansing water i've always wanted to get in my cellar water even when i was in nigeria but you know when you begin to when you know the uh, my my migration plan started becoming serious i didn't want to start buying so much thing that I, too many things that i know that i can easily find here so i had to buy one from the dollar store i can't remember how much okay this is about four dollars yes yeah, this is about four dollars so i'm going to be using this to cleanse my face and also i could use it to remove makeup they said you can use my cellar water to remove makeup i don't know how true this is but i know i can use it to cleanse my face just before i start to apply makeup or any other product on my on my skin the next thing i got is this cute nails i'm sure you guys would have seen my sheen um my last sheen haul i uploaded a video today sunday and i got a couple of nails there but the reason why i got this was because of the glue i saw in there but this is for one dollar 25 the reason why i ordered that particular nails from sheen was because i had been looking for nails at the dollar store so this dollar store i went to was not the regular one i usually go to the one that is actually close you know to the house so we went to another dollar store and that was where i found these nails because i've been looking for nails like this like stick on nails like this and i've not been i've not been seen within my area because it wouldn't make sense having to drive all the way you know out of my comfort zone just to look for stick on nails when i can easily order off on amazon or aliexpress or something so when i saw at the dollar store i was so excited and it almost wants to look like the one i got from sheen but yes i know i love nudes so yeah this is last but not the least okay not really the last but i got like a new workout pants you know this is from costco and it's about 20 dollars i almost before i picked this workout pants i had to think like i went to that particular aisle four times even with the sports bra like i was like why would i buy sports bra for 20 dollars why would i buy workout pants for 20 dollars that's how much let's do the math 280 times 20 that's 5,600 naira for one sports bra and buy workout pants for 5,000. It didn't really make sense to me. And this is excluding tax because I'm going to have to pay tax on everything. But I got this from Costco alongside my sports bra. I'm glad I did anyways. It's not like I don't have workout pants. I do, but... So the last but not the least, and I'm so excited to be unboxing for you guys, is this... <laughs> yay i've been wanting to buy a blender for the longest of time since i moved here if not for anything because i really don't use blenders to blend stuff to cook because we buy diced tomatoes and salads and coleslaw we buy the already made ones so i don't think i need to cut things i need to cut 
I don't think I need to blend anything so but the main reason why I wanted to do this was so that I could start you know making my smoothies again I actually wanted to buy the fruit processor of the ninja brand because I watched um, I told you Greg Regina's video about um, this ninja food processor not this one but the the same ninja brand but the food processor where she was unboxing for us and when i saw the price i saw 200 dollars i was like okay it's not that deep for blender <laughs> so i think we got this for 7 79.99 or 69.99 we got this from costco actually and let's unbox together came with like a manual and i think how to assemble it or something so i'm just going to put this away and aside you know making smoothies another reason why i wanted this was to blend beans because the powdered beans i came with from nigeria is i'm almost out of it oh what's this supposed to be for wow okay so it has like an so even if you want to pour something out, you don't need to remove the entire cover. Interesting. And it has a handle for ease of carrying. I don't know what this is for. Oh, to raise the cover up. Interesting. It's a wow something. Ah. I hope I don't spoil it though. Oh my God. It's like it's stuck. So this is it. It's actually nice and big. It's about 2.1 liters or max 2 liters. It's so heavy. So this is where the cup is, is meant to sit on. And it has like the control buttons here. And the plug so it's pretty simple it's actually really heavy and sturdy so okay so um you have to push this down if you want the handle to come down and it closes back interesting wonderful i actually like what i'm saying wonderful so i'm super excited about this is like one of the things i'm very very really really excited about I'm super excited about this blender. I hope I don't regret spending my money, but from what I have seen, <laughs> my smoothie game is about to get lit. Hmm, guys, another cool thing I like about this is not just the manual, it has like smoothie recipes you can use this blender to. So it came with like smoothie recipes. How cool is this? Guys, 30 quick, easy blender recipes like awesome island sunrise smoothie apple pie smoothie strawberry and banana smoothie tropical chill banana mocha almond smoothie guys i'm glad i bought this one 